Alright, so because I didn't do the weapons video that I normally do, because no one really is interested in that, I don't know. Uh, this time we're going to do like a tips and tricks thing or something like that. But considering it's like a week in, yeah, probably not the best thing for that, but oh well. Check like I could have done this like day two or three or something like that, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I've actually been quite enjoying this season. And thanks to Ash, well, I've won my first game with her, so that's cool. And also, my kill death ratio is actually pretty high this season. A couple times I was close to one or something like that, but yeah, a couple games didn't agree with me. Yeah, so anyway, Storm points to new map, so might as well do it. Alright, so here's the map. I'm sort of surprised about it. Um, thought it'd be smaller, and also I have no idea where exactly, like, they came to on the beach. Maybe around here somewhere? I don't know, really. But yeah, I've reached my drop. Alright, so there's like this safari zone or something like that, and also death box here. Um, it's no one's, it's just here because... Meant to be like something like that. Oh yeah. I'm out of light ammo. One thing you might be noticing is the prowlers actually um I'm out of heavy ammo. Yeah, they actually give damage. So that's kinda of cool. I'm out of light ammo. Well, this really didn't go well, did it? Okay, so because I killed a fair few prowlers, uh, my over shield went up to like blue and grey. Don't think you get every bit of thing, but you get it. As you're not bursting players and just people. Yeah, I guess that's what it's about. If you want to know the prowlers aren't infinite, it's just there's a lot of them in this area. Alright, so you see at the top of my map I got like death icons. Oh well, actually I can go here and like ping the thing. Death box there. So uh that's an ability Ash has that I haven't seen too many people talk about, so yeah I dunno. Oh yeah, so we've also got flies back. So that's something. Again, it's not like an actual player's death box, it's just meant to be like someone died and they picked it up. But, I don't know really. Alright, so something I've realised is Apex and Fortnite have like the same thing. I don't know. So pretty much if I was to ping there. Oops, my bad. If I was to ping there, and I'm like, no I don't. I just like, right click twice. And it gets rid of them. Moving here. Yeah, Follow me. you have to do it on the map though. And also, this is like the new thing. and. All that, they pretty much go, well, you'll blast like another one of these things, if you want. And the best thing to tell you what these things are about, uh, they're the select fire havoc with like a three times scope or something like that. So yeah. Also, it's like some sort of railgun thing, but oh well. Yeah, blast it to another one. Releasing an arc star. One unit and the phase tear. I'm out of heavy ammo. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like too far away from my kill death. Yeah, I got out with one kill. Alright, so another ability that Ash has that you can't really show you in the firing range is if you go up to someone's death box, you can press H on it. Well, for me it's H, it could be something different for you. And then with that, it will ping the killers if they're still alive. If not, it will just ping the killers death box. Well, it pings like all three of the members if they're alive. If they're dead, 
it only just bangs a death box, I think. Um, yeah, anyway, might as well go into the firing range. Alright, so I guess the loadout that I sort of go for is, first of all, the handlock. Now, I've got, like, pretty much blow on because, well, that's realistic or something like that. Uh, the boosted loader, it only goes on two guns, so it's reasonable that I don't reckon many people put it on, like, the wingman, so if you've got a handlock, you're normally going to get it. And the reason I have the two times scope on is because of my second weapon. Now, it's likely that I'm only going to find one, two to four, or three times scope, and yeah. I normally have it on, like, the triple take, because, well, yeah. Also, I've got, like, the purple stuff on this, because, well, it's sniper stuff. Well, the sniper stock, you pretty much find them everywhere. Uh, the optics, like, really, it's more likely going to be a three times, but if I can find the four, that's cool. And... I reckon most times I've found like a purple with the energy thing, so yeah. I don't know all that does like 120. Most of the time I'm just hitting like 70s with it or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I guess I get body shots most of the time. But, oh well. It's like a pretty cool gun and all that. Now the thing is, it goes up to like 27. So I think that's sort of cool, but also, I don't really get why they did it, is, well, it's called the triple take, and, well, it takes three shots. Yeah, I've got 24 now. It's three shots for everything, so, yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of cool, being the triple take, and I guess they thought it was too powerful or something like that. And also, I'm wondering why, why exactly... They may have made it into a marksman. I did pretty well with this with a sniper. I guess that's also another reason. So I reckon the main reason why it's like marksman is because, well, with the three times, if it's unchoked, well, this is likely where it's going to go. The chair is better with it. Alright, so if you don't remember what the boost loader does, well, once your ammo turns to green, um, which is normally like 3 to 6 or something like that, but it's 9 if you've got the purple, or legendary. So yeah, it's a faster reload and, well, you get more ammo in it. One thing I found out though, whoops, oh well. I lost ammo from that. I knew it went down to like the 30 if you reloaded when it was over 30. But I didn't know that you didn't get the bullets back. Alright, so because the triple take is out of like the red weapons, uh, they put the G7 Scout in. But it's not the normal one, it's the double tap one. Not sure if it's faster to do normal tap or double tap, but. Double tap is probably faster, or something like that, and if you line up a headshot, you're likely to get more. Alright, so the other new thing is like the car. Uh, you find it in like the heavy weapons. I guess heavy is the main thing. But if you go over to like the heavy accessories, or something like that, you might notice something a bit interesting. That being, you got the heavy max here and the light max here. You got the light max here because, um, besides from the heavy mag, you can also use like a light mag on it. So, yeah. Now, when you reload it, it goes up to 27 with the purple, gold. Haven't checked with other ones. You press B to change it over. All right. So, because with the car, like it uses both light and heavy ammo, and also with the mag, well, depending on which one you use, you get the maximum amount for both, well, if it's light or heavy mag. 
Uh, the one thing I want to know is... What's like the fastest reload? Is it this? Or... This? Now that one does seem a little bit slower, but also... With this, you're doing like the tactical reload, so... Yeah, that also seems a bit faster than like... Switching it over, so... I guess... Just use one type of ammo? Alright, so the car being like a heavy weapon sort of makes sense because well, the only other heavy SMG is like a burst thing, or well, that being the prowler, so this being like a full auto, like that's sort of cool. The only problem is it's pretty similar to like the R99. In fact, they both have the same amount of ammo with them. One thing I have noticed though. Yeah, the car actually does like more damage, but I'm not sure if the fire rate on like the R99 is faster. Alright, so the car being like a heavy SMG, that makes sense because the only other one is the Prowler, and that's like a burst. But the thing is, it's sort of seems similar to like the R99, and considering with this weapon it can be light ammo, well, yeah, as you can see, they use like the same amount of ammo in them each. Well, it's both 27 on the gold. So, yeah, that's a thing. Oh yeah, I also check with the car. The light and heavy ammo damage is the same. There's no difference there. But what I want to know is... Does like the R99 have like a high fire rate or something like that? Because one thing I found out... That was like 17. That's 20 headshot. Alright, so I went on to like the fandom wiki for like Apex guns or something like that. Um, so the car does one more damage for legs, two more for body, and three more for head. Alright, so with the DPS's with the two guns, the car is high, but not by much. Uh, the car is 202, by the R99 is... 198, which I reckon that's sort of cool because the R99, well, 99 plus 99, is 198. Also, I think I've worked out the fire rates. The R99 is 18, so that's actually pretty cool because 9 plus 9 is 18, and I reckon the car is like 15 or 16. I don't know really. I guess that did sort of turn into like a weapons thing, after all. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, this is Jenna 450. Mine is out. That's sort of getting signing out. Oh yeah, I decided to get like the limelight for Ash because I haven't got a skin for her. I mean, I could use the base one, but I don't know really. Anyway, with the store. Alright, so I can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure last time this was called like the aftermarket or something like that. And... Well, I reckon the base thing you got was this. I reckon this was the teaser for the aftermarket. I don't know. So yeah, you got Lifeline, Bloodhound, Wraith, Mirage, and then Gibraltar. Oh yeah, you've also got an R99 skin to go with the Gibraltar. Alright, so I didn't show you like the bundle things. Because those aren't like market stuff. They're just like normal or event stuff, but market didn't make him. I reckon market's meant to be some sort of brand. I don't know really. Oh yeah, we've also got featured, which I didn't notice for a while. So Ash Bundle's still here, that's cool. Uh we've also got it like the racing Watson and the uh R three oh one. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't notice for a start. Rampant symbol there and rampant symbol there. We've also got a Pathfinder one, Copper Core. Not sure what event that was from, but you can also get like this pose thing. It starts with the base one, then it turns into your skin. 
I wonder what happens if you use it for like the base skin. Alright, so we've also got like a Bandalore bundle. We got one of our hollows, a skin. Not sure what event this was from. I don't know. And also two normal Apex packs. Oh yeah, so last time it was like the Stormy Triple Tag skin or something like that. This time it's the Vacation Vibes. And by the looks of it, I reckon these might actually be new skins. Or something like that. I don't know really. Anyway, first of all we got Lady Justice. I'm not sure when I got this, but apparently I got this. And because I got that, I can get Madame Mayhem. Uh, of course I'm choosing the legend points. Alright, so next up we got the Angel City Hustler, which I actually got this one because I wanted the Perfect Illusion, also known as like the Bombshell one. And yeah, if you got that, you can get Center Stage. Yeah, it definitely goes with that one because it's got the symbols there. I really want to know why exactly you have, you have like the options to get like the Apex Coins. This is just the extra style. But I guess some people just have too much money. 